Did you know that numerous banks are on the brink of facing unprecedented challenges? Since the beginning of the year, investors have been apprehensive, with all eyes fixed on March 2024. So, what's the significance of March 2024? Let's clarify. The US banking system relies heavily on a crucial scheme, slated to end in a matter of days, particularly on March 11th, a date ominously termed the Red Letter Day. Why the concern? Because this marks the conclusion of the Bank Term Funding Program, BTFP, a lifeline that has sustained the US banking system for the past year. The collapse of regional banks like Signature Silvergate and Silicon Valley unveiled vulnerabilities. It was a domino effect triggered by mass withdrawals, primarily from tech and crypto businesses, coupled with more appealing savings rates elsewhere. With similar challenges looming for banks in 2024, the aftermath of these failures was nothing short of severe. Profitability took a hit, compounded by interest rate hikes that had already weakened balance sheets. Silicon Valley's collapse in March 2023 set off a chain reaction, resulting in a bank run and significant disruptions. Before we go further, please make sure to subscribe to The Financial Scoop and leave us a like below this video. The BTFP came to the rescue, providing a means for banks to borrow from the Fed using bonds as collateral, thereby mitigating the impact and restoring stability. However, with the imminent closure of the BTFP, banks are preparing for a bumpy ride. The aftermath may lead to increased borrowing costs, squeezing profit margins and potentially tightening credit availability which could pose challenges for the economy. Already, warning signs are evident. Shares of New York Community Bank are plummeting, and efforts to raise equity capital suggest deeper underlying issues. The bank's woes stem from deteriorating commercial real estate loans, exacerbated by shifts in office and retail spaces driven by the pandemic. As concerns mount over the commercial real estate market, Analysts warn of an impending crisis, echoing sentiments expressed by billionaire investor Barry Sternlicht and Starwood Capital CEO. The stage is set for what could potentially be the most significant commercial real estate crisis in US history. Brace yourself as the repercussions may reshape the financial landscape for years to come. Recently, Sternlicht predicted massive losses of trillions in US office properties. Bloomberg reported that over $900 billion, equivalent to over 20% of the total debt owed on U.S. commercial multifamily real estate, is set to mature this year. This could force borrowers to refinance at significantly higher interest rates or sell properties at substantial discounts. With the financial markets teetering on the edge, Bloomberg's recent report highlighted how investors are punishing banks heavily exposed to commercial real estate. The pressure on lenders' profits mounts as Wall Street scrambles to assess how extensively property debt distress will spread throughout the financial system. It appears that we're only scratching the surface, with hundreds of banks finding themselves in deep water as bad loans accumulate. However, amidst the turmoil, there's a glimmer of hope. New York Community Bank has managed to secure generous investors willing to extend a lifeline. Shares soared after the announcement of a $1 billion capital raise and new leadership. It seems that fresh leadership and a billion-dollar capital infusion might be just what the bank needs. Additionally, NYCB struck a deal with several investment firms, including Hudson Bay Capital, Reverence Capital Partners, and Liberty Strategic Capital, led by former U.S. Treasury Secretary Stephen Mnuchin. But will this be sufficient to rescue New York Community Bank? While it might provide short-term relief, I'm skeptical about its long-term survival prospects. The same could be said for numerous other U.S. banks, according to Kevin O'Leary of Shark Tank, who believes thousands of U.S. banks will fail in the years ahead. Meanwhile, signs of economic trouble continue to emerge. Let's be clear, the US dollar won't collapse overnight. Large structures don't crumble suddenly, they deteriorate over time. 
Similarly, the US economy won't vanish overnight. However, it's undergoing a controlled demolition. The US dollar is evolving into a digital currency controlled by Wall Street, not the US Treasury. This transformation signals a seismic shift in the financial landscape with far-reaching implications. This shift is underway, whether we acknowledge it or not. The trajectory has advanced further than most Americans realize. As Putin noted in his interview with Tucker Carlson, the US is undermining the dollar with its own actions. He's on point about this. Look at the global landscape. Even US allies are reducing their dollar reserves. This prompts everyone to seek ways to safeguard their interests. From the standpoint of US interests and taxpayers, it's utter folly. This erosion damages the US economy and diminishes its global influence. Before delving into the latest data from China, it's essential to understand the significance of US treasuries. They're considered the safest investment globally, backed by the full faith and credit of the US government. However, as of now, the outstanding amount of U.S. Treasuries has dropped to less than $26 trillion. Just last fall, it stood at over $30 trillion. So what happened to the missing $4 trillion? They've been offloaded. Japan, China, Saudi Arabia, and the United Kingdom, the major foreign holders of these Treasuries, are divesting. Typically, they invest in U.S. Treasuries, expecting repayment with interest, However, the U.S. borrows funds, often from China, only to redirect them elsewhere, as Senator Rand Paul rightly critiqued. This practice weakens rather than strengthens us. But here's the headline. China is shedding U.S. Treasuries rapidly, aiming to offload most, if not all, by the end of fiscal year 2024. Furthermore, they're ramping up substantial stimulus efforts due to their flagging economy. Recent data from November reveals a significant dump of U.S. Treasuries. Several countries, including China, have been selling off billions of dollars worth. China's holdings have plummeted to just under $800 billion. Indeed, the decline in China's U.S. Treasuries holdings is staggering, hitting a two-decade low. As we've been highlighting, China has been divesting from U.S. Treasuries for over a decade. However, the latest data is startling. Beijing just offloaded a whopping 15% of its entire holdings of U.S. Treasuries. If they were to sell them all at once, it would wreak havoc on the United States. Congress is well aware of this, conducting tabletop exercises to prepare for such a scenario. When questioned about contingency plans, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen acknowledged the risk posed by China dumping its $859 billion in Treasury securities. So, how does this impact the banks? Experts anticipate tumultuous times post-March 11th. Powell may have no option but to raise rates to avert a crisis. However, such a move could spell disaster for small banks holding numerous commercial real estate loans. It's a vicious cycle. Rates rise, China sells more treasuries, the Fed prints more money, and the wealthy profit while the rest of us suffer. As the world watches, a crucial battle unfolds that could determine the fate of nations, with China's bold move casting a shadow over global economic stability. The next few weeks will be pivotal. It's crucial to stay vigilant and not be missled. The US economy is in far deeper trouble than many realize. We're on the cusp of a period of significant economic upheaval, coinciding with one of the most chaotic election seasons in US history. Thank you for watching and stay informed by subscribing to the channel and leaving a like below this video for more videos. We would love to hear your comments down below. Stay safe and we will see you on the next one.